The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Something is nagging at me. Need to look at the case board. All right, let's do that. Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Um, okay, so she's got something to do with the case board. We'll look at that in a second. I need to consider switching to Alan Wake in a bit because I really want to see what's going on with him. But there's still more to do with her, and I just... Why is the case board empty? Weird, is there a new case here? Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. Okay. But the FBC have him. Right. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that later because I don't know... Yeah, how much I want to do with that without wake first. Why does it keep highlighting that one when there's nothing more I can do with it? There's something else going on with that. Don't really know. This one, Bright Falls. Is the deal. Is there... Yeah, we've got some upgrade stuff that we can do. Pistol, I think, is done. Oh, the rifle. 12, 15, 18. 16, 14, 18. Okay, nothing I can do about that. What's the goal right now? Give the wheel to wake. Go to the, sh the sheriff station. Okay, okay. That's right. We got stuff to do. Okay, let's do a quick little quick save since we did some things. All right. Now, at the end of the last episode, I had made my way already to the uh, sheriff station, but I wanted to come back here and actually save it first. So I did. But we're going to go back to the sheriff station now. I keep moving my camera around, like the this whole overlay thing, because I want to make sure that it's not covering up anything important, but... It's almost impossible to put it in a spot. They think they're so mysterious. They're ridiculous masks. Children in costumes. It's almost impossible to put the camera anywhere without it covering up something important, so we're just going to have to deal with it. How many we got? One shot up shotgun? Shit. Oh, I can't even. I've the... seen some crazy things in my life, but <laughs> I don't know. can hear infected going on about that inside there um okay so now we are the morgue what is that container bolt cutters cold stash a cold stash in the sheriff's office this must be bolt cutter as well oh locked door we have a screwdriver for that too locked door this place isn't terribly large but we're about to get into it that's for sure is it locked? Oh shit. Okay. Well, we know what this episode's about then. Power's out. Always a good sign. There's taken inside. Damn. Are we dealing with scratch already? Yeah, I think we already read all that. Holding cells. Is that where they're keeping Wake? Door is locked, though. Um, I don't think a screwdriver will work here. Yeah, they sound very zombie-ish right now. Do 
dude, this place got turned over. Anyone here? I'm here. Oh shit. There is somebody here. Agent Estevez? Oh, is that you? Shit. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. Mm. We should talk. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> what happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? <sighs> we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. Oh, wait, she's from the Federal Bureau of Control. She's the one who took Wake away, right? What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him, out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. Oh shit, please tell me he's not dead. I love Alex Casey. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. <laughs> we have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the Shadow in some way. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. I'll need these keys. There's no way it's actually Alan, right? There's no effing way. Like, just not a chance. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Like, it's obviously Scratch that's been let out. Oh, I guess we can't open it that way. Okay, anything else we can open up here? Well, apparently we need a specific thing for that. Oh. What the hell? Oh, a new weapon. Huh. I don't have a clue for that. Until we do, anyway. That's the only thing that's here. Uh, well. What do we got? Research proposal, Alan Wake and Cold Connection. Summary. In 2010, writer and suspected para-utilitarian Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared in a cauldron lake, a known threshold site. Three years later, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. The murders were recreations of deaths found in the writings of Alan Wake. Interrogations with the murderers revealed they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing themselves as his cult, and considered his novels to be sacred texts. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with this cult. At least there is no evidence supporting the idea. Soon after the New York cult was detained, an organization known as the Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake, the same area Wake disappeared. This is now the second organization branding themselves as a cult with a direct physical connection to Alan Wake, operating in the location he was last seen in. I propose that this is not a coincidence, and we should, and we would like permission to search for, for a link between Alan Wake and the Cult of the Tree. See file 1454 or 5 Okay. Shoot, I didn't read all that. Womp womp. Research facility WA03 at Cauldron Lake. D Washington has been compromised. Cause unknown, or WA anyway. Um, the incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when she visited the facility to make contact with Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont heads of operations at the lake house. 
The facility itself is reported to be in a damaged state with no living staff found during a brief search. A longer search was not possible due to an active AWE in the area re requiring all available resources. Investigation and containment not possible with current personnel. Emergency dispatch of, of response and rescue staff is required. The investigations department has no knowledge of the Lake House's recent research or projects due to worsening communication and cooperation since HQ went dark. As a result, this report cannot determine the incident's cause without further investigation. Refer to this file for... Okay. There's no clues for that weapon, but I could probably tinker with it for a minute. Let's see how that goes. I might get lucky. God damn it, still nothing. I don't know why it keeps linking stuff that I can't use. It's interesting that this mind palace thing was determined to be a uh, a superpower, actually, like some sort of special supernatural ability that she has, rather than like something that you can train your the mind to do. The cell door won't open without power. God, you keep on hitting this up, but it won't let me do anything. Am I missing something? With these fools. I know there's a profile, I think, that we just opened. No? Did it not? Tor, Wake, Nanny Gate, Ol, Costco, Cynthia. I guess not. It didn't open one. I wonder if there's some sort of clue around here for this. I want to see if I can get that gun. I don't know if I can, though. What was that X? What was that? Ah, uh, there's something here. Already. Oh. A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H, J, K, L, M, V. So I'm wondering though. So this is obviously the clue to unlock that. L temp. P, R. going to say L, P, R, but then these ones have authors that are different. Interesting. So it doesn't have Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, or Z. One, two, three, nine, zero, one, two. Why is L and B also a two? Must be some sort of math here. Shit. Revolution for the brain, memory loss, it was myth and reality, part three, part two, part one. One, two, three. I don't really know what that means exactly. The thing is, is it's so random. Like, this isn't a puzzle that's like, that has logic behind it, really. It's just trial and error, and I don't like puzzles that way. Like, I don't know what this A, B, C, like what it stands for here. Looking at this, it's obviously something to correspond with the letters here. Maybe the title, the author. See, the author is L. P has nothing. L. W isn't listed here, so it can't be that. B. Q. And there's no Q either. So there's not really a lot of numbers and letters here, so it can't be the author name. Can't be the revolution for the brain, because that can't be it, because it can't be the title either. Battle to regain your mind. Experience of time. See, it can't be experience. See, like, that doesn't make sense. Like, there's nothing here. What is this shit? All right. Um, let's see. Sheriff. Weapon. Puzzle. Wake 2. Pump action shotgun puzzle. Did redo. 
Okay, so it says, make your way to Breaker's desk and examine the books on display. There will be about two memory loss books, which is fitting, and three about aliens. What's more, each of the novels on UFOs is part of a trilogy. Given that the combination we're looking for requires three digits, it seems like a pretty good starting point. That's what I thought, too. Check out the scrawled note by the books. Breaker has scratched down the first few letters of the alphabet and a number underneath some. Da -da 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 -da. Pattern is a repeating number sequence that starts with zero when it would reach ten. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Figure out which parts of the books. Um, look back at the books. Notice how the author's name is big and bold at the very top. WBQ. Okay. So there's no W. Oh, so you have to keep going all the way. So it's showing I see. So the numbers repeat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, I see it. So if B is two, so W, okay, and then Q. L two, three, four, five, six, B, Q, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, seven. Okay. So B is two. Q is seven. <sighs> oh, no, P Q R S T U B W. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three. So that means that it would be, yeah. Okay, so seven, two, three is the combination. That's annoying. See, that's stupid. Very weak. Of course, I can't fit this shit in here, can I? God damn it. If I find a safe spot, then I can get this shit. I have no space. The rifle's nice, but I wonder... The shot-off shotgun versus the pump... I don't know which one would be more powerful, but... i to come back for that shit later once I find a good save point. Is there one in here? Um, map. Is there a save spot here? Shoot, I don't think that there is. That's annoying, dude. There's no way to save the game in here, which means there's no way for you to, like... There's no way for you to swap your inventory around. That's annoying as hell. I can't get in there anyway until the power comes back on. Let's go kick some ass downstairs. Thanks for nothing. Shit. Like, they killed him brutally. This huge ass taken just, like, wiped them out. Oh, there's one nearby. Shit, that sucks. like really nasty aggressive I wonder do you read me Anderson I read you have you had our frequency this entire time eavesdropping is a big part of the job but no I got it from your partner Anderson look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box that should get the power going again yeah on it Oh, I see. He killed everybody in the FBC as well. Yeah, there's someone down here. Blacks out with the animation. Barely. Pull your flashlight back out, dumbass. Just so I don't get blindsided by someone trying to sneak up on my ass. Another locked box. God damn it. I can't really see what that says. 1AO? I don't know what that is. Oh, I see. One side. Okay, so that's one side. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three. So it's a triangle three, so it should be one, three, six. It's well, it's one something six. But there's a line through the triangle, so that might not work. There it is, because it's the line through it. It's it's counting the amount of lines, I see. Where are the cold of the tree? I got it. Shit. Do I have anything that I can toss? Bolts, maybe? These things are... Uh, kind of annoying, actually. Lots of health, batteries, guns. This thing is huge. a shoebox here. Thank God. Cool. Alright. Let's go toss some things in here. sucks that I can't find these. I haven't really needed the first aids yet. For a while anyway, I haven't. We just want a flashbang. Yeah. So these don't stack, huh? save one then. I don't know if what I'm about to fight is going to be really powerful, so I feel like I should probably have one on me. Flashbang, right? Yeah, the thing is, yeah. Heavy damage. Okay. Good, good, good. Do this. I'd really run into a lot of those flashbangs. Who the hell? Well, someone was alive down here. Notice I said was Stay the fuck. Casey is that you Anderson hold your fire I'm coming in That sucked Where the hell is he? Alex Casey, FBI. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and even and events. Concussion, similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the shadow is suspected but not confirmed. Physical wounds are minimal, light abrasions possible, mild concussion. At 7.30, continued observation shows no sign of increased aggression in subject. Subject remains aware and coherent. A starkly different progression than other victims. Reasons for exceptional result unknown. Less severe exposure, subject resilience, intentionally on Shadow's part. Cars further, yeah. So it could also be that he's a creation of Alan Wake, sort of, maybe? Damn, dude. Hey, Anderson. Shit, fuck. Like what I've done with the place. Hmm. Scared me. Could use a bit more Goliath. <laughs> Funny. How are you holding up? I don't 
give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story's changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What do you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. Hmm. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real, too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> who is he fighting, though? And who is shooting? Like, I don't understand. Are these agents, are they... Infected? Like, I don't get it. Are they... You know what I mean? Anderson. Good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Shit. Dude, you want to help me out at all, or you just want to sit here and cry like a little bitch? Because, you know, could use some help. Dickhead. So the battery in there. There we go.
situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. Yeah, it's just, that's what you want to call it. Hardly under control. God, why is she so sexual about it? Okay, let's see. Um... use a backpack upgrade. There's still one more up here, though. Unless it came out of that that Anderson, room. Over here. It did. Behind the counter. Yeah, I see you. I'm sure Sheriff Braco wouldn't mind me borrowing this. I wonder which one has more or more power, though. Everybody's dead. I wonder why Casey doesn't want to, like, come up and be with us. Seems a little odd. God, I blew, like, half of her skin off. Alright, so you... So what, I wonder what it says. Anything? Somehow automatic good stability and capability of high sustained damage. Okay. you as a yeah quick slot in that closet. Yeah, I bet. All right. Kill the Joe. Make some O. Huh? This is the third time this week I come in for late shift and there's no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Now, your personal assistant, Chet, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. I knew Marco's beard was too soft to be natural, but what brand is he using, Lucy? Okay. Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded, from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you've received. Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned. What is it? P.S. Officer Lightfoot. Your beard oil is ready for pickup. <laughs> the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs. Uh, community outreach barbecue. No one here grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity. Da, 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 da. Don't really care about that. An electrical lock system with no fail safe. Oh, smart. That is, maybe that is something I should watch or uh, read rather. Third annual community outreach barbecue. Hey gang, the annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is upon us. A community outreach barbecue. Now I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with. The community statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts, are more effective in their policing, and have overall better mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. The community voted drunk tank victim this year will be, drum more please, Deputy Thornton. He's dead. Congratulations, looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C last. Uh, at last, eh? Okay. Friendly reminder that anyone's uh, out sick on the day... Needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Life. It's matter. Okay. Security measures. This must be the one. I must have tapped on it without realizing. 
I understand that there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is the paranoid madman who decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest high-tech top security nonsense? The stuff's not safe. One power outage and those locks aren't budging. I've warned you about this half a dozen times now. Don't blame me when you're locked in with no way out, says Cooper. Actually, is there any on my current case? No, nothing. of a time avoiding those taken ended up back here anyway i wanted to warn you that we have the coscula brothers in the cells as well they're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree don't let your guard down is the fbc sending any help <sighs> we were the help well us in the lake house but we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat it's stored in the back lot we were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Okay, all right. Well, there's, I uh, mean, I hate to stop right here because there's some very interesting things that we need to go and interact with, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to save this. Oh, it's dark outside. That's not good. We're going to go ahead and save the uh, Costco Brothers interaction and the Alan Wake interaction in the holding cells for the next episode of the playthrough. If you did enjoy this one, though, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and Nine Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Alan Wake 2. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. See you next time.